Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn how you can add borders around the tables in Jupyter Notebook. Sometimes when you run a data frame, the output comes quite plain and you like to have the border around the table columns and rows and everything. So how do you achieve this borders in a table inside a Jupyter Notebook? I am going to show you. So you can see how my Jupyter Notebook is looking with a table. When I'm printing this data frame, there's no border around it. Now let's see how can I get the border. For that, the very first thing that you do, you go to C drive, go to users and go to your own username. For me, it is Rakesh user. So look for it, your username. And then you would look, you will find something called dot Jupyter. Okay, dot Jupyter, open this up. Now inside this, you'll get onto custom folder. Sometimes you may not have even this custom folder. Okay. So you open this custom folder in case you don't have create one, create one and simply create a text file, new uh, text document and save it custom.css, a blank text file, simply save it as custom.css. Now I have already created this one, even my computer didn't hide it. So I have created manually a text document, saved it as custom.css and inside this I am going to add few lines. Okay. So let me first open it. Okay. So you can see this is how it has opened in a notepad. Now in this one, even this lines were not present. I have copied it to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide this in the description. So you can simply copy and paste it and try it out if that is working for you or not. Now with this line, I need to add few more lines to create a border. So this is the line that I have added. So let me add it. You can see rendered HTML table. So this entire code, anyways, I'm going to provide it in the description. You can simply copy paste inside this custom.css file. This file is not there. You create it and save it. Okay. So this is done. Now I'm going to save it, save it, done. Now, if you see this custom CSS file contained the new lines. Okay. Now, if I go back and refresh my Jupyter notebook, it is already open. So let me refresh it. Finally, if you see the end, all the tables that I have in this notebook have got borders. Do you see? Almost everything started getting borders. Okay. This is one of the best way that I found it useful. Now, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, let me reopen that CSS file. Sometimes you are not happy with the border. You would like to increase the border slight a bit. You know, if you want to make some modifications, the codes are quite simple. The dot uh, CSS codes. So here, if you see, uh, I have kept the border as one dot five. Let's say you need two or three, or you need some other color. You can just experiment with this and see if that works for you or not. All right. So thank you so much. Um, if this video is helping you to get the border, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys. Let's meet in our next content.